Are you you pimped out your own daughter for money. You don't know what that means. I've done it. Cole Bush's family feud updates. This is the show. Guys, hey, look, I was wrong. I was wrong. Right now. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. Today we're taking a look back at some of the most fiery family face-offs between mothers and daughters we battled out on this stage. You may remember one mother, Michelle, who was frustrated, furious, and fed up with her out-of-control teen, Corvette. Take a look. My 16-year-old daughter, she doesn't live with me. She moved out. She lives with her 20-year-old boyfriend. She doesn't go to school. She cusses at me. She disrespects me. She wants me to take care of her and do everything for her, but she doesn't give me anything back. What's the, what's the point of being at home when, when my sister doesn't care about me? My sister doesn't even like me. She don't talk to me. My mother's gone all day at work, working two jobs. How about you staying in school, honey? You're too and, young. And when I am in school, I, I do go to school. She spent all my, the September when I was supposed to go to school, she spent the money on my sister's new baby and, and said, and said you feel she neglects you? Yes, she does. She have an... It may come as no surprise that Corvette did not quite agree with her mother's point of view. Check this out. But I have to work two jobs to provide Okay, for you. okay, but when you are at home, you don't show me love. I don't show you love. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you do not. No, Explain I it. do. Tell, no, tell me what you like. You liking. had a problem. I wasn't showing you love. Why didn't you come to me and talk to me? Because it's hard to talk to you. How is it hard to talk to me when you know I have to work two jobs to provide for you? I have to be able to do that. I don't want to hear that. You I'm sense done. that your mama did not want you to come home, right? And you didn't want her back. I asked her many times to come home and go to school. She told me why I get some shoes, I'm going to go to school. She had some shoes that still ain't went to school. What shoes? The boots you wore today. Those Playboy shoes. Oh, those shoes. 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 Not one single year have we have been this way. We have been through some stuff where we have been through a lot of stuff together, but I have made sure my kids was together. You have, financially? Yes. yes. But you do not. You do not show me any love. Oh, what kind of love is it you want from me? I Motherly love. love. What do you mean? I talk to you by What do you mean? Motherly love. No, I talk to you by every problem that you have. No, you don't, Ma. The heat was on. But this family drama came to a boil point when Corvette's older sister, Portia, joined. Watch this. Really, Corvette? Mama, Vanny, you for real? Okay, for real? So, uh, for real? Okay, okay, so you're for real? Okay, can you listen? Damn. I'm listening, go ahead. Okay, so she yeah. left. But she wasn't bad, though. She was coming and going. Coming and going. Right. Okay, I'm what is that? Like, what's the reason? Because she was going to hurt my No, she was not. And you on the street doing drugs. Things are looking so hot, we were bound for a meltdown. And sure enough, that is exactly what happened. Like I told y'all, I had to go to myself. Then what does it affect me? I cannot talk to y'all. It don't affect nobody else. No, I can't. It don't affect nobody else. Why not? You claim it's only you. Why have it affect her? Why have it affect nobody else? It's a bunch of lies. No, it's not. You want me to speak on your kid? You can't expect me to speak on your kid. You ain't got to get me. Okay, you got to get me. And I will. And I will. And I will. And I will. Oh she my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight. I'm just no. gonna talk to her. She's a fighter. All she wanna do is fight. We're talking to her now. She jumped oh, in her face and got in Portia's face. She all she wanna do is fight. She, she had no reason to do that. Portia was talking with her. She wanna buy you. She wanna buy She's buy jealous. Food. She doesn't want she she's jealous. She wants me to give her, give her, give her, and she don't give nothing back. Maybe she felt like she was scrambling and losing the argument. I don't know. Yeah, because she knows she's lying. Like I told you, everybody abandoned my kids. I ain't never abandoned my kids. I am too 100% of a mother to do that. Much of this mayhem revolved around 16-year-old Corvette's 20-year-old boyfriend, DeAndre, who was not exactly warmly welcomed by her family. Me and Corvette, man, we, we talk about this every day. Like I said, I want her to get along with her family because I want to, I, we got a bright future. 
So I would love, I would love to be connected with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I would love for her to go back home, be with her family, go to school, do this. I she took a pregnancy that. test. Do you want to marry her? I do. What if she's pregnant now? We took a pregnancy test this morning. What is she pregnant? Yeah, Do you what, know what she's trying to get pregnant on purpose? What? She is? Yes. I just found out she keeps, she's trying to get pregnant on purpose. Where you found out that from, huh? I mean, she's trying to get mom, pregnant on purpose. Mom, mom, mom. She's trying mom. to get pregnant on purpose. Did you I mean, know that? Are you ready to be a father? Y'all really got me father. messed up. How many, I, have how many a, babies? I have a future. I, have I have to finish school. I ain't trying to have no babies. What's wrong with you? Why would you be laying down? Who takes the I have a job. You don't know who you're doing until you do not be there. You do not be there. You don't know who you're doing until you do not be there. Trying to get pregnant. And no, you think that you are no, pregnant. Okay, okay, she no, 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 no. Hold on, no. Mama. She wants you to come home. Mama wants her daughter home. Will you send her and home he, to her he mother? Said, yes. He you will? Come yes. Home. yes. You send me but you don't want to be in this relationship. You came home and told me all this stuff that you felt Man, we, all we talk years. about this every day, and I always tell her to call you. Call call you. Let your mama know how much you love her. Let your mama know this and let your mama know that. I always, always do that. Mom, I just want you to. Spend more time with me. I want you to, you know, be able to talk to me without raising your voice all the time. No I, yelling. Yes, I, I, I want you to be able to just like sit down and actually talk to me. I, I, I want to actually be able to come to you about boys, sex, marriage. I want to come to you about all that. But I feel like I can't talk to you because I feel like you always gonna yell at me or tell me like you don't like this, you don't like that, or I shouldn't, you know, I, you're supposed to do that, mom, but you know. I, hold on, something? you're not ready to be a mother yet, honey. No, you're not no, ready. no, do I want to finish, I want to finish school, go do to it. college. I want to do all that. I don't, I don't have don't time for no kids. Don't get pregnant, honey. Don't I know, get I don't pregnant. have time for no kids. So did this family's fiery feud finally cool down just a little bit? Their update and much more coming up next. Don't miss the fiery mother-daughter drama. We haven't seen her in six months. So why? Why? Seen me in six no, months. let's get on the floor. No, no, no. You don't don't come come here. Me. Shut up. That led to this backstage breakdown. I ain't never been a mother. Why a mother now? I'm no longer the victim. More mama drama headed your way. Get you please fine. get up and get my hands out my face. Please get up out my face. Please get up out my face. Please get up out my face. Welcome back. Today we're revisiting some of the most dramatic mother-daughter disputes ever to erupt on my stage. Before the break, we took a look back at the problems Michelle and her daughter Portia had with Michelle's 16-year-old daughter Corvette and Corvette's older boyfriend DeAndre. It seemed clear that the risk of pregnancy was an issue for Corvette. But now, let's get the results. I'm happy to announce that uh, Corvette, as of today, is not pregnant. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. Okay, so so one more thing while we're talking about that, there are ways to prevent pregnancy. It's not a wishful thing. I know. Right? If you're going to have sex, be an adult and prevent a pregnancy. All right? That's it. All right. Now listen. But you also have to take some responsibility. I, I do take responsibility okay. for everything and, that and I when do. you said I don't I don't want to be on the street looking stupid, you really don't want to be on the street being stupid. So go back to school. For real. All right? Go back. All right. Honey. We recently checked in with them at their home in Detroit, Michigan, to see how they've been doing. Take a look. I think she she's made a lot of time for us. She spent a lot of time with us since the show. She really, you know, tried like to be with us. She 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 basically she talks to us, you know, more. I love you very very much. I love you very very much. You have changed in the last couple of weeks, and I see a lot of good in you. And I want to thank you so much for changing. I want to thank you for giving me another chance. You are welcome, my baby. Um, all I want you to do now is to get yourself back in school, okay. change your life, and come home. Okay. I can do that. Okay. And I'll, when I go back to school in January, I will go to school every day. You won't have no problem with me. Our relationship nope. is, it has it ups and downs. Um, it's not like how it used to be, like tight, but it's a, it's a process. Love. I love you, babe. I love you, mama. You're a brain like, what the devil want on my family? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that Corvette is getting along with her family and is going back to school. Keep up the good work and stay in touch. You may remember our next guest, Tori, who was determined to confront her allegedly deadbeat mom, Sherry, about the abandonment and neglect she said she endured as a child. 
take a look at this. I'm here because I want to confront my deadbeat mother. Um, my mother has basically pawned me off to not only relatives, but to the state of Texas. She has done so many things that just really pissed me off. Like, I just feel like my grandmother raised me, you know what I mean? Like, she took over for my mother. My mother, yeah, she had me at a young age, but that's not a, an excuse not to be a mother. I mean, there has always been options. You know, they say, like, if you don't want it, there's adoption. You know, she could have signed me over to my grandmother. What was the reason? What motivated your mother? not to be the mother that every child's entitled to. What you know, I think it was just straight up insecurities. Insecurities as a woman. No. And, and I got mad and I started... Rebellious. Rebellion. I stayed out. I did, I did what I wanted to do because to me, no one cared. So my mom got upset and said, you know what? I can't handle this anymore. I have too many kids in the house that I need to take care of. And she gets me over to the she state said, of Texas. So she, at the age of 14 or 15, she said, Tori, you're out of here. I'm giving you to the government to raise. Yeah, like that really was a good idea. How how did that make you feel? Um, it made me feel like, what's wrong with me? After hearing Tori's painful story, I was not surprised by the fireworks that were set off when she met up with her mom for the first time in six months. Did you not get me up when I was 14? Yes. Did you not Wait, put I, your hands on me when I was 14? Uh, after you hit me. Excuse me. After I, you hit me. Oh, after Hold you on. came home but with me with that overage guy? Remember what you overage guy? The what overage the guy? What overage guy? That's what you thought. That's what you thought. Let's be real. Tori lost her virginity. Did you want to know the truth? Tori lost her virginity in your house to that overage man on his birthday. Whoa. Before then, Tori didn't do nothing. But because you were so busy trying to paint out this oh, Brady so, Bunch um, living. Did you sleep with? Um, yes. You did? Yes. Now, why'd you do that, honey? Because two of them told me that if I didn't, I had to get out of her house. But did and you come to time, me as a, did you come to me? I come to you? Do you know that? If don't you act, kick me out once, you'll kick me out again. Don't act like you don't put your man before your children. Because you got him don't act like you don't put your man before your children. If you want facts, shut up and listen to them. First of all, you're not going to talk to me. First of all, first of all, I got pregnant at 17. And when I was because of my faith, I wouldn't get an abortion. So I went to your grandmother and said, I want to get her an adoption. I went to the military and said, how can I get my daughter an officer for parents so she can have what I didn't have? Sherry, do you want to apologize? Do you want to apologize? For anything. I couldn't be a mother. Sherry, you want to apologize? I apologize to her last year. You do? Mm -hmm. How, you haven't seen her in six months. You haven't seen your grandkids. Oh, ask her why, though. Why? Ask her why. Why? Haven't you seen me in six no, months. let's get all the facts. Let me know. You ain't gonna come out here ask and mess with me. Why. No! Ask me why. Shut up! It seemed like Tori had endless accusations and that Sherry had just as many excuses. Take a look. So, okay, so question. So, um, since that's what we're gonna talk about, let's talk about you leaving a freaking nine year old at home with a freaking what? Uh, let's see, I think uh, my sister at the time when I left, let me see, I'm 14, I'm seven years older than her. So she's seven and she has to walk around with a, with a baby in her arm because it's storming raining because mommy and, and, and auntie and everybody felt they wanted to go clubbing and left them in a the home by themselves. How do you give up you your mean? child when you're what 14? Clubbing? What, what clubbing? You tell me I wasn't there. How much kicked partying me out did you do, Mama? How much partying and clubbing did I you do? That's the you problem. Didn't. Stop it. You didn't do Stop anything. Stop it. Why would you put her in foster care? One, I couldn't club. My mother wouldn't let me. No, we know. We're, we're past that. She's dead and we're in our She's bathroom. 14 in foster care. Let me keep you care. up what's going on since you're not understanding what part of the timeline, Mama. Does it bother you? Your daughter and your grandkids are living in a shelter in El Paso. Of course it did. I just got it from being homeless for the last year and a half. That's it. Well, so, what are, and well, whose fault is that? Circumstance. Sherry dropped the biggest bombshell of all when she revealed why she had signed over her parental rights for Tory to the state. I'm yeah. the one who went to them and said, look, my daughter's having a hard time dealing with her grandmother. Let me ask you one question. I want to get you in care because you lied to tell d that was a crackhead. I've never here. done a drug. That was an alcoholic. I've never drank like that. You never drank that. You better sit here and tell the truth. I never drank like that. And what they told you is that you're going to You never drank like that. And what they told me. Things are going from bad to worse. So I talked to Sherry and Tori separately backstage, and that's when all the raw emotion finally spilled out. Take a look. I ain't never been a mother. Why should I mother now? Well, now's the time to try to work things out. Man, came here with that same I know. concept. You told me but you, you wanted to my sister on the phone. You said 
and the producers trying to make me a bad out of here. I've done more for my kids in two years than she done for me in life. Yo, Tony, I'm done. I'm no longer the victim. I'm no longer the victim. I am no longer the victim, and she will not do this. You, you watch it, Jimmy. T tell me what's going on. Jimmy, tell me what's happening between mother and daughter uh -huh. from your perspective. Long time. Long, long time. time in coming. This is well, the moment. I've been with... I, um, I've known her for 44 years. Four okay, years? Okay, yes. What's yeah. happening between these two? Tori is very disrespectful. If she don't have a way, she... Volcano. Makes, she make up lies. My wife don't even want her. Back in the house, I said we have to be a family. So what you what did she do with you? She, she, the way she hugged me, the way she always wanted to kiss on me. To... She wants love. Oh, sure. she wants she wants confirmation from her mother, again, and she's else? seeking it through the exes. But she loves your mom. She loves you dearly. The expression of the love's a problem, but she loves you. She's coming on to Jimmy sexually because she sees that as getting to you and acceptance from you when uh -huh. it's the wrong approach. You understand that? Yeah. What do you want to see happen? I'm done. So, she lost I'm her seven-year-old daughter. Done. Finally, everyone took a long, deep breath and decided to give it one last chance and come back on stage. But Tori, her mother Sherry, and Sherry's boyfriend Jimmy still had a long, long way to go. All I wanted was for her to finally admit that yes, because of some of the decisions that I've made, you've had to go through what you've gone through. That's all I'm asking. Mama, for. can you do that? Can you do that? I've done that. How okay. many times must I say sorry? How many times must I say forever? I had that's a messed what it takes up life. Forever. I understand. How many things must I give up? I gave up a military career. I gave up my own Hold sanity. Hold on, but you act like I, I said, you know what? Don't you. be in the military. Do you think signing you over to the state of Texas was easy? I almost died because I almost had a car accident because I cried all the way home. Do you really think that I cared you for nine Tony, months? I just you gave you the hell away. Every time you turn around, really? it's, it's all about you. It's it was a sacrifice you. I it's made for you to get the it's medical treatment you wanted. It's the world I was forced to bail, Jimmy. You, you, you got to live your life. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Look, look, look. Jimmy, you're trying to sit down. Do me a favor. How long you said you've been here? Hold on. How long have you said you've been a part of this family? Four years, right? So do me a favor. 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 Do me in her life. Then you destroy. Then you tell you want to take the kids. You want to do this. You want to do that. That ain't right. There's more of that story and more updates coming up next. Shocking updates. So I learned something. One thing I definitely would have liked my mother to do on the show that was different than what she did. And scandalous behavior. How certain are you that Chris is the father of the one-year-old? I'm, I'm positive. I'm Weren't positive. you having sex with other guys at the same time? I was the one I'm watching your on your slutty Oh, now I'm a Don't miss this. How? How? Today we're taking a look back at some of the most intense mother-daughter dramas. We just saw my past guest Tori's attempts to make amends with her allegedly deadbeat mother Sherry. Having seen how they furiously battled throughout the show, I was shocked by what happened at the end. Because I realize I'm wrong. I realize I made mistakes and I did the best I could because you got a better mother than I did and you know that you got my mother because every mistake she made with me she corrected with you so the love you got from her was the love she couldn't give to me did and you know, know what? that on she level? didn't get it from her mother but do I fault her no did I hate her no did I fight her no Except you was there when I was 23 years old, and she jumped on me, and what I did, I balled up, I let her hit me. Why? Because she was my mother. Tori, can you accept I could have jumped up and fought her. I could have told her everything she did it. wrong, accept but she it. did the best with what she had. It's okay. You are the next generation, so if you're better than me, which means you're better than her, which means you're better than grandmother, at least when your daughter's a mother, she's going to be an excellent mother. <laughs> Why do I call you comment? Because no matter what cut my way, I still excel. Thank you. Why do I call your sister star? Because no matter what comes her way, she always signs work. And why do I call your sister sunshine? Because no matter what comes her way, she always signs through it. So I learned something. Please. Look at your brothers. Look at your brothers. She's sorry. If not one of my kids has not been on the honor roll. I mean, the one, one. the one question I would have, Bill, is... Come on now. This is for you. I was praying that things would remain rosy for them. Here's what Tori recently told us from her home in El Paso, Texas. 
Well, one thing I definitely would have liked my mother to do on the show that was different than what she did was be sincere. Um, my mom kind of went on there throwing the blame back on my grandmother. And all I really wanted from her to begin with was just her to admit her fault, her part in her wrongdoing. I just wanted her to accept her role in, you know, the layout of my life. So it took me about two weeks to really let everything sink in. But after that two weeks, life became real stable because I was able to close that chapter in life and focus on moving ahead rather than what happened in the past. And now we're doing great. Tori, I'm so glad that your life has changed for the better. Our trip down memory lane continues with Melanie. She was outraged that her ex's mother, Lenora, was denying that her son fathered Melanie's child. Get ready to run for cover. Me and Chris met when? when we were young. Like, we was in like the seventh <coughs> eighth grade. 13, 14. No, about 15, 16. Right, God, there, I there's a picture saying. right there. Oh, that's a horrible picture, but yeah, that's that's the picture. <laughs> All right, you that's better the picture. talk now, honey. That's mm -hmm. when we was young. You were kids yourself. We uh, we had my first my first daughter, Katalea. She took, she did she was a thousand percent sure that Katalea wasn't but for him as well. But she wanted DNA done. She wanted. She wanted a DNA test done for my for and my that first. Was, that was ninety nine point nine percent for him, it. more for him than for me. That's but she it. was a thousand percent sure as well, Bill. That's it. She was a thousand percent sure at that time. Let she her don't talk, know. Mama. She Let confused. Her. Now, 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 now with Chris, he got in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. A little bit of armed robberies, things like yeah. that. Yeah. And he and he was got it on and bail. And she blames me for it. Yeah. Had she taken care of him a little better than she did, then he wouldn't be in jail for the person responsible for that is Chris. You're not responsible, I'm not responsible and you're not for responsible. Nothing. Yes. Now, right. how certain are you that Chris is the father of the one year old? I'm, I'm positive. I'm Weren't positive. you having sex with other guys at the same time? N no, look, <laughs> Bill. Slater, I was the one watching your bed while your slutty uh, f in there. Oh, now I'm a slut. The second one. Why am I a slut? Why are you still worried about who I'm having sex have with? The second what, what, one. The blah. second one. Blah. Blah. Okay. Blah. It was crystal clear those two were not interested in being a family. And things were not about to get any calmer when Lenora's daughter, Krishan, came out to give Melanie a piece of her mind. Krishan, you're the one that introduced, correct, these That's two. That's what you call it. But are, well, you were friends together. in school, right? Well, you and Melody together. were friends. Uh -huh. But what happened? What happened to ruin this relationship? This is oh, I toxic. Don't know. I don't know. What did she do to just you? Just like I said, first of all, I ain't never said the first baby. What did she it? ever do to you? Well, she ain't never do me nothing. Then why are you acting like this? She ain't never do me nothing. Do me nothing. Because she's not about to clown on my mama while I'm on here. Never. What? Never. You said you weren't going to raise your voice I, at all. I, I did say that. I'm I, sorry, This Bill. is all about those children. And I, I said to Melanie Bill, backstage. let me tell you something. She's going to clown right now. She got audience. Yeah. Come on now, y'all do this for an audience. She, she, you see what you just clown. did in front of a... Why would I want to clown in front of an audience? She if anything, clown. I would want to be a lady in front of an audience. Yeah, because I was going to hit you with it. Come on, freeze up. Freeze up. Freeze up. Freeze up. I ain't never taking that with you. I ain't never taking that with Grace. Even when they jumped me. I ain't never taking that with Grace. Because she's woke. Like she said, walk me. Oh, The questions are obvious. Was Christopher the father? Could these women become one big happy family? I'll have those answers, and plus more blasts from the past when we come back. The DNA revelation. When it comes to the, the results. results of the one-year-old Kalia, your son. Oh! The surprising update. Since the show. And more mother mayhem headed your way. You abandoned me when I was 10. Now you're abandoning me while I'm 21. When is this cycle ever going to end? If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, billcunninghamshow.com, or call toll-free 
888-710-8425 now. Do you feel dissed by your own mother and don't know why? Do you feel like she doesn't love you? We want to hear your story. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text guest at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. We're taking a special look back at some of the most emotional mother-daughter dramas to have exploded on my stage. We just heard Lenore and her daughter, Krishan, deny that they were related to Melanie's baby. Let's find out who was right and who was wrong. When it comes to the, the results. results of the one-year-old Kalia, your son <clears throat> is the baby daddy. With Chris, you got uh, two. What no, changes? Nothing. Nothing is, is there change. an apology from? Well, I'm gonna tell him, I'm sorry. I'm can you apologize to Melanie I'm for sorry. calling all those names? Listen, no, listen. Let me hear. Oh, I'm sorry. Mama, what do you say? I don't have no apology. She should be apologized. Oh, but one minute, one minute she's saying it is, and one minute she's saying it's not. So what you want to do? It is. It is. It is. So that's what I say. I gotta do what I gotta do, like I did for the first one. Nah, -uh, you ain't gotta do that. Like nothing. I did for the you first. You ain't gotta do nothing. Like show respect, you don't have show to do respect anything. and you'll get respect. You, you gotta show respect. So like it or not, Melanie, Lenore, and Krishan were tied together through the child they had in common. Here's what Melanie says has been happening since they returned back home to New Orleans. Since the show, nothing has changed. Lenora is still ghetto and ratchet, as she's always been. She has not accepted the fact that Kalia is her granddaughter, so she still does nothing. Since the show, they've come to my house, her and her daughters, and all the rest of their friends, to fight me. Um, I didn't go outside because I didn't feel like fighting, but like I said, nothing's changed. It's still the same old bull. And they still don't do nothing. I still take care of my children. Melanie, I'm so sorry to hear the relationships are still strained. Onward we go. You may remember Shanda and the broken relationship she had with her sister, Felicia. I'm here actually because I'm so tired of my sister. She come up with more excuses, the reason why we're not getting along. I want so bad for us to have a relationship. With Felicia. You with love Felicia. Felicia. Yes. How long have you two been apart, in a sense? Um, on and off for maybe 10 years. Wow. Really? On and off, yes. Tell me about problem. your child. When you two were growing up as kids, your relationship with Felicia was what? Oh, we had a good relationship as kids. Close. That was my best friend. I loved her. We did a lot together. We traveled. I helped her with her girls. No issues? Not really. But then there was an event. What happened about 10 years ago? Um, she started abusing drugs. Next, we heard Felicia's side of the story. And you better believe she had a whole different take on things. I'm the one who was taking care of family issues, taking so care of my mother. I. Taking care of my mother was going through a divorce. She was going through hard times. She was losing her brothers and sisters we to cancer. We all helped Felicia. Okay, we I was all there. You but was I was there. a single mom. Was I was there. A, that's that's okay. right. Okay, but you okay. make it seem like that I was not. I'm not doing not, that. I'm not doing not, that. I'm not, first of all, you was a good person. You was an excellent mother. We're talking about now, Felicia. Okay, Your kids now. are getting older. They're right. starting to realize Felicia, how many kids yes. do you have? How I many kids? three beautiful girls. And they are beautiful. And you got two of them here today. Yes, sir. Didn't Shanda raise one of them? I came to Shanda. Shanda always was very attached to my oldest daughter. But why'd you give up uh, your own child? Because I was sister. a woman enough right. to realize that I had a problem. Right. And Big I did problem. not want to. What was I the problem? I had a drug problem. Drug, yes. serious, I for years. To, I went and, I, and you know what? I give you credit for that. The show took an emotional turn when Shanda opened up for the first time to her sister Felicia. Take a look. Well, that. I went in to get um, a mammogram. They found a lump in my breast. I got a biopsy, I was good. But I had to deal with that. I wanted you. And that's all I used to say is, I want my sister. I used to cry out because I, to your kids saying, you know what? I don't have true friends. My sister was my friend. Felicia, you was my shut, heart. You shut me out of your life. You know why? You it shut was me too out. much shut drama. Up. Whenever you came no, around, Felicia, you it was me too up. much drama. When you needed drama. me, I was there for and you. you. And you knew that I had a problem when I first that went to rehab. And I 
every time you, you, you had a problem. Before oh I my God. Every time you every had a problem. You had a problem. I was there for you. You were. I was and every time you had a problem. But you when I did it, you guys, you guys were there for You weren't there for the mission. Excuse me. You weren't there for the love. most. When I needed them the most before all of this happened in her life, I needed them. Like when I came to them, you stay with me. Drug rehab. I told them. Who took over your daycare? I said, listen. Who took over your daycare? I need some help. Every time you called me, Felicia, I was there for you. Their update, plus more mother-daughter dramas are coming up next. Stay right there. A mother quest. We're taking a special look back at some of the most memorable mother-daughter dramas. Before the break, we met two sisters, Chanda and Felicia. And things got even hotter when Felicia's two daughters, Jerrica and Jerrica, joined their mom and aunt on stage. Check it out. Oh, you, you never, told me you you never took me with you to go buy drugs? You didn't? You, know, you never, never put me in those positions? You haven't? Really? You haven't had drug men come into my house with my son that I trusted you with? Really? You didn't go and get high all night and come back and sleep with my baby that I trusted you with? You abandoned me when I was 10. Now you're abandoning me when I'm 21. When is this cycle ever going to end? When is it going to end? Left. How many that's times? Why that's why you left? So that's why that's you left why me 10 left. years ago? No. That's why you left that's me 10 years left. ago? That's why you left? What have you accomplished since then? I just needed her support. And there were times I wouldn't see my mom for a, like, a whole month. Like, Where I was, was she? What do you think? I didn't know. Like, I thought my mom was homeless. I thought she needed help. I thought she was hurting. Like, your I didn't sister, know. and you had twins when you were 15? Yeah, I got pregnant when I was 15. Where, yes. where was your mom? Right there. Pearls. I told her mom. I'm sorry. I told her mom. I love my kids. <laughs> we recently caught up with Jerika in Springfield, Illinois, for the latest in her family saga. I feel like the show helped me and my family um, become more closer. We're able to talk to each other now like we haven't before. My aunt, like, as soon as we got back, she invited us to her house for dinner. And so things with my aunt's been good. My sister and I, we're still trying to figure out exactly what we have wrong with each other, like why we can't get along or we don't understand that yet, but we're trying to get there. My mom and I, I wish we would talk more, but when we do talk, everything's really good. Like, I'm happy to talk to her. She's happy to talk to me. You know, she asks about her grandchildren, so and I'm kind of upset that I didn't really have the chance to live with my mom for most of my life and have a mom there for me when I wake up in the morning, but I'm over it now, and I'm just excited to be in the same state as her next year, and, you know, if I need her, I can always drive to her house and just spend time with her. Jerika, I'm hoping you and your family find the love and peace you so richly deserve. Our next guest, Sierra, furiously accused her mother, Latanya, of being an absentee mother whose alleged negligence led to devastating sexual abuse. Here's her side of the story. Bill, I have been through so much. So Tell much. me, what is it? I have been raped, uh, abused by a family member, um, sexually assaulted by a family member. Uh, when, when this was going on, did you tell your mom when it was I happening? told my mom. And what did your mom say when you said, Mama, this family member? See, at the time, she didn't want to listen. She didn't care. She, she didn't, didn't believe care. you? No, not at all, because... And you weren't old enough to go to the police. You went to your mom. My mom. My mom. And then by me being raped, no justice done about it at all. And I'm having to take care of my other siblings as well. Well, when you tell your mom I'm being, maybe you couldn't say the word rape, but you're being abused and you're being sexually by this guy. What'd your mom do? She did nothing at all. Nothing. At and it went all. on and on and on. At all. At all. What was your mom? What was going on in your mom's life at this my time? My mom was wild. My mom had different men. My mom was wild. My mom had married six times. My mom was a wild mother. But when we met Mama Latanya, she was every bit as angry and defiant as her daughter was. Say these flies about me. You're a attention seeker, honey. No, I'm not. Yes, Mama, you no, are. I'm not. Yes, you are. You always have made up no, lies. No, I'm not. Ma, I'm you telling need you, no, to I'm quit not. it, Mama. Sierra. You have you, not. You need to quit me, it. Mama. You need to quit. Look at you now. You want attention. Oh, really, Mama? So come really, on now. No, come Mama, on now. You Mama, get better than this. No, Mama, really. You get better than this. You know what you want? I have raised you. Look at you, honey. I had to raise my brothers and sisters. How did you do it, Sierra? I had to raise you. Grandma, how did you, Sierra? You was always so needy. So how was you able to raise somebody? Mama, you was his Sierra. You need to. Grandmother lied to you, young lady. Mama, come on. Uh, and you Latoya, believe me? what about the sexual assault? Did you know what was going on? Have a oh, seat. Oh. Did you know what was going on? Yes, she did tell me about this. Uh, well, well, what did you do? Did you 911? What did yes, you do? Yes, uh, well, her, uh, 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 someone, yes, someone approached the situation. 
It was handled. How old was she Why at the time? Why you didn't do anything about I, it? I forgot exactly how old, how old, how she old was. were you when it began? I was 12. I was started at 12 with a family member. But this was awful, and she came to you as a daughter saying, protect me, love me, guard me, and you did what? And I protected her. Mama, okay. And I protected her because I did not know that this was going Mama, on. Protected me, Mama? I did. A, yes, Mama. I did. Yes, really, I Mama, did. Vinny, yes, Mama, I did. Mama, I have protected you. Mama, I have protected I you, Sierra. You was you was a, how were you on Mama, your own, really, Sierra? Mama, really, how were you on your really, own, Sierra? Really, Mama. How were you on I your was, own, Sierra? Mama, you was a dead for me. Uh, uh, yes, I was. How was that for you? Sierra kept the accusations flying, and Latanya just kept on denying everything. A lot no. of this is not true. What is I don't true? even know how really? to respond. Really? What behavior do you want me to have when it's a lie? What about the disability uh, check? Uh, what about the disability check? Can't you tell? I, I really, I'm crazy. <laughs> I really, I'm crazy. She's not crazy. This is a normal woman seeking <laughs> yeah, love from her mother. Uh, uh, no, uh, Ma, I just want okay. love from you, Okay, That's baby, all. I do love you. Yeah, yeah. Sierra, yes, I am. I'm trying to give you the best. Ma, are you trying to give you the best? Latanya, let me hear from Latanya. What's in your heart right now, Latanya? What's in my heart is hurting me so bad that she would come on the show and would just add all is this Is she making extra. all this up and for she's attention? She's making no, all of it up. She's making some of it up. No, she's extending it. What about the sexual abuse? The sexual abuse, I did not know anything about You, you it said you didn't know, but you I didn't know. I said until she told me about it. But it was handled. It was handled. It was handled. What about the stealing, the thievery? To... That, that's not true. Oh, that's really? not true. No, that's not true. What about your part? What about six marriages? marriages? Well, if, if she did that, no. I have not been married six times. I have not. Married what, in and out of your house? I have Hell, not, Sierra. What, what, Sierra, they, I've only it? been married three times. Stop it, Sierra. Really? Sierra, stop it. Really? Sierra, stop. No, really. Sierra, stop it. I'm going to have their update and more blasts from the past when we return. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me. Welcome back. Today's show is all about our most heated mother-daughter dramas, and we just saw Sierra and her mom, Latanya, fight it out over years of heartache. Here's how things ended up before they left my stage. She wants it. I can't no, move she wants to keep on doing the blame game, and she can't. She the blame she game, can't. Mom. She wants to hear, I love you, be my well, daughter. I love you, Sierra. Are you love I love you. Mom? Yes, baby. I'm going to be there. Before we go to break, what does this mean? <laughs> uh, before, what does this mean? Are you two okay? Yes. What is it? Yes. What is it? What is it? Oh, Sierra, my. is that all you needed after after yes. the sexual abuse, yes. the thievery, yes. the disability checks, yes. the parting, the men, the sibling care? Yes. This is all it took. The words did it. Is that what you're Just saying? Just a big baby. A big baby. And you're a big mama. A big mama and a big baby. Before we leave, what are you saying you're sorry about? Give me one, two, three. And and listen and don't talk. Okay, um It can't be this simple. Okay, um what is the one when two you have what a, shouldn't you have done? One, two, three. When you have a child that's when you're young yourself, uh parenting does not come with directions. You know, you learn as you go. And parents I'm not know perfect. That. No one's out here perfect. No one's perfect. And so I may probably made some mistakes along the way, but I've learned. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I've learned. And I kinda be like hard on her so she can be strong. A strong individual and she can be a better parent to her her children. We had a breakthrough and it seemed like we'd finally fixed their broken bond. Let's see if things are still looking up. Here's a video update from their home in Alabama. Since the show, I have found a whole lot of things like uh, concerning my grandmother. Um, it was the lie, the story she has told me as I was growing up. Uh, basically, it was a whole bunch of lies. Um, I did a lot of digging through family history. Uh, uh, a lot of family came forth and told the truth about the things that happened to my mother and my mother was this person. And uh, basically, um, now I know why she reacted in the way she acted because of her upbringing, her childhood. And this show helped me to find a lot of things and get some closure and understanding and truth. Oh, the Bill Cunningham show has helped my family tremendously. Uh, as far as um, my daughter understanding my childhood upbringing, um, uh, the secrets that wasn't revealed to her that uh, I hadn't 
let her know, or uh, either my other kids know, what happened to me as a, as a teenager, as a young lady growing up. And so, but now it's been exposed and we're healing. Nothing makes me happier than to hear good news from my guests. That's what makes doing this job so worthwhile. We've just seen a whole lot of drama, so how about a few smiles? Don't miss what's coming up right after.